Happy New Year! Well, it's 20 degrees in here, although it's probably closer to 15 now. I put a bowl of water in there, which I hope they don't spill. And all they want to do is play musical instrument with the box. I also put their food in here. So they're sitting in here while I'm waiting for the um, heat lamp to heat this area down here. It is zero degrees. Mm -hmm. Zero. Proof. The little thermometer in here <clears throat> said zero when I started. I'm going to see what it says now. Ugh. All right, it says it's moving on up to 20. So that's good. <clears throat> Oops. I'm going to leave it under here a little longer. And that means I'm going to have to probably change the water periodically, regardless of it being under the heat lamp. I'm going to move this off to the side of the heat lamp. All right. And so what I did was, because I didn't know how long before I could let them out, <clears throat> that's why I gave them the food in here. Did you eat any of it? And they were huddled right here next to the heater when I came out. Yeah, I don't blame you. Well, it's cold now. That was quick, wasn't it? Hi, how are you? Yeah. How's everybody? No. Trying not to freeze to death. You're not going to freeze to death. But every, I'm looking at their combs, they look pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll let you out in just a minute here. Yeah. Watch your beak. Watch the beak. Yeah, it's cold out here. I don't know that they realize they could stay up there if they want. They're like, <laughs> immediately to the sun. Fake sun. And I have new straw in here. I took some of the old straw out and put it inside the other chicken run and put some fresh straw in here. I bought a straw bale. Oh my goodness, that thing's huge. I'm like, where am I going to put this? Look what the ladies got on New Year's Day. <laughs> okay here's my newest thing <laughs> I'm going to point the heat lamp a little more in that direction um, the water is freezing within an hour and I'm not going to be able to come out here every hour today so what I did was I put it in the dog bowl and put that into a an old pan with straw around it as a, to hope that it insulates it a little bit longer. I don't know if this will work or not. And it has, and no, it looks like it's steaming water. It's not. It's warm, but that's how cold it is out here. And the temperature under here, look at that. It's getting up to 40. So I'm going to let them back in here. They've been in the extended run over there, chomping down on their new block. Okay, let's get this. Here we go, ladies. You wanna come back in? Okay. Like, we, we need to get to the warm area. Darn it. Shoot. Ugh. Ooh, they're drinking it. Good. The Jira is happy. 
and that water is you know I put some lukewarm water and then I had some hotter water hotter water <laughs> whatever okay good it's like a little sauna over there just don't make it into a hot tub. You won't like that. Hey, fire! Boy, they were really thirsty. They had water this morning, but like I said, it froze very quickly. And I think they're enjoying the warmer water. Good morning, it's Phoenix Jira. It's January 2nd, 2022. And it's about eight degrees out here. And I was going to go ahead and show you the setup of what I do in the morning when it is this cold to assure that the chicks stay warm somewhat <laughs> and uh, dry. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I have going on. Here is the extended run I've shown in other videos. This is the little tunnel we created to attach it. And here is the actual coop and attached chicken run that comes with it. So what I have done is I put straw in here to help with their cold feet and give them something to scratch around. I have their food hanging here as it usually is anyway. And then I have a heat lamp that's pointing under the coop where plastic is surrounding it. And I have a thermometer in there right now to verify how warm it is uh, with the heat lamp. I just turned it on about mm, three minutes ago. <laughs> I've got straw and stuff all over me. Over there is a bowl of, it, well, it was hot hot water, boiling water. You can see it's steaming. I put some pine shavings to help insulate it and the heat lamp will help prevent it from freezing. It won't stay hot, but it'll stay uh, liquid. So I'm going to let the chicks out here in just a second. Let's go here. I had the heater on all night. Hello ladies. Hello, how are you? I gave them the rest of their fermented feed that they did not eat last night. It was just a tiny bit. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Hi, PK. This is PK, Phoenix, Miss Cloud, Spitfire, and Trinity. And this is the heater they had on, and I found them somewhat close to it this morning. It was 8 degrees. So this kept the coop at about 25 degrees during the evening. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. Yesterday it was zero degrees and it kept it at 20. So it was 20 degrees warmer in here than outside. All right, I'm gonna open up your door. You know, look at them. I'm like, okay. Go on out. I don't usually do a view this direction, but there they go. <laughs> Get down there. I'm going to have to let the door close. There we are, ladies. Yeah. There's your food and your water. And like I said, it looks like it's boiling hot, but it's not. It's just lukewarm now. But it's... What did I say? <laughs> Eight degrees out here. Now they're going to peck out all of the pine shavings because they think something's hiding in there. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> all right, let's see what it says. All right, so when I put this under there, it was 10 degrees. Now it says it's a little bit above 20 degrees. So that's how well the heat lamp is helping in this area. 
So if they can be out here where it's, you know, 10 degrees, or they could be under there where it's 20 degrees. So I really, really like this setup. The only place that I found that I could hook up the heat lamp was right there on the ladder. Okay. And then it's hooked up here, double hooked, so that if for some reason that were to fall, it would just hang here. And I'd check on it throughout the day, even if I could just look through the window from the house. Look at them. They're taking all the pine shavings out. Just drink the water. Oh my gosh. Can you go over there and explain it to them? Yeah. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Let's be fire. How are you? You're not going to you gonna let me pet you? No. No, no. I don't have anything this morning. No. You have to fill up on your regular food. No scratch this morning. No. I got them a block, one of those solid blocks that has basically scratch in it. It's very small pieces. And they worked on that for the first time yesterday. And that's in the extended run. So I think my setup is pretty good for what, you know, what I have. Um, they don't go upstairs into the coop until nighttime, so I can't get them to go up there unless I were to put them up there. What are you doing? Hmm? No, we're not coming out right now. But I've checked under here. The plastic prevents the wind and the rain and the snow. And when the sun hits it, it helps it to be warm. Just drink the water. OMG. Someone drink it. No. Oh, there we go. This cloud. She's like, okay, guys, there's actually water in here. There you go. <laughs> there you go. When I use a waterer in here that I use uh, every other time, it freezes within an hour. And it, this is so much easier. What I do is I have the bowl. I put the hot water in here, in there. By the time I get out here, it's lukewarm. And then when I come out next time, I'll bring... Uh, you know, just uh, some more hot water with me and include it in there and it'll just heat it up again. And just so you know, hot water, I've heard, can freeze faster than cold water. So you can't just put wa hot water out here and think, oh, it's going to stay hot for hours. What? That's my thumb. Yeah, that's my finger. Mm -hmm. And there we have it. Okay, I'm going to go inside and have some coffee and let the ladies do their morning routine. Yes, I know. How are you? Phoenix, yeah, you don't, don't touch me. That's what she just said. Don't touch me. Okay, well, we're outside. They don't go very far. They go around the corner here and across to the other run. <laughs> I put some straw down just to break it up a little bit. And they pretty much, they'll get on the snow for a time and then they're like, no, no, this is stupid. I don't remember if I mentioned spit, no, not Spitfire. Um, Miss Cloud was on one of these the other day and she jumped from there straight up to there. I was shocked. All right, looks like we are at 22 degrees. And under the coop, it should be about 35, about. I don't know, I'd have to test it again. I need to bring them some more warm water. I just realized I never put this back up, which is not, oh, come on. Oh, for the, for the for crying out loud. Man, it's not a problem right now because they like never go back in here. Let me see. Oh, God. I had to put it on that hook, which may, has made it tighter. And that's because one of them got their wings stuck in it. You know, how did that happen? Who knows? They're crazy. 
Crazy chicks. And I just gave them some scrambled eggs. That is not blood. <laughs> That's a little bit of raspberry. Um, I gave them a couple blueberries. They like that. The raspberry, they're like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure about that. She's not going to like it if she gets up there. It's a metal roof and it's really cold. Oh, come on, Miss <laughs> Cloud. Don't do it. No, no. No, we're not doing it. This is what it looks like. She's just a slush. Oh, you're not going to like it. No, you're going to slide right off onto the ground. And then I'm going to have an injured chicken. So I got to turn off this camera and go help her. Well, now I wish I was still filming because she flew from there up into the sky and over here. And I think it was because she was falling. But I was not able to help. What in the heck? Why are you eating straw? Yeah, and see, now she's cold, Miss Cloud. Yeah, because you had your foot on the metal. Hopefully you don't have, you know, <sighs> freezer burn foot now. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah, don't be a dum-dum. Yeah, you have a lot to say. <laughs> Brought out some more hot water. So now that water is warm. <laughs> did you find the heat lamp? Oh, yes, you did. Don't peck at it. Just enjoy its warmth. It's 30 to 35 under the coop with the heat lamp. Excuse me. Pardon me. Just pushed your way out. <laughs> yeah. I brought some hot water out in that. Pyrex. Just dumped it in there. I'd like to see how hot it is. Could you not peck on that? No, there's a red dot. I'm going to peck on it. Just leave it alone. No. <laughs> Goofies. Well, Miss Cloud is around the corner. There she is outside. I don't know what she's looking for. We've got our grit in here. There's grit out in the other run, but it's kind of hard to find it right now. Uh-huh. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Let's see. Did it already come up? See? Now it's already, it's 30 degrees under here. Just having this situated under the coop for what was that? Not even a minute? What? So you have warmth, don't you? Yeah, chuck, chuck. I know. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, I know. Chuck, chuck. Chuck, chuck. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. Yeah. You always have food. Well, not always. But those are the times they remember. The food times. See, they almost forgot I brought in kale. See? Yeah. And they have that block in the other run, which I'm actually going to check on. I'm curious how much they've eaten off of it. Yeah, I'm coming out. I'm trying to come out. Ugh. Trying to come out without stepping on you. Yeah. Let's check on it. <laughs> there, following me. It's the same place you always go. Oh, yeah, you can tell that they've been pecking on it. I'm wondering if I should put a tray under it so it catches. Well, I guess they're scratching around it and they're finding it. Yeah. Yeah, look at all that. Mm -hmm. It's a scratch block, which they like, but couldn't you just put it on the ground for us? No, no, I think you can not eat my boot. 
opportunity. I'm going to close this. I am. I'm going to close it. I am going to close it. Now they'll meet me at the other side and come out anyway. Yep, see? <laughs> They're like, you can't fool us. When they see these little bags, they think it's for them. This is for me. But when they see bags like that, they're like, I'm pretty sure it's for us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's for us. Now they're just tapping on that board. <laughs> if one does it, they all do it. What, are you getting something? It's just a board. Like maybe we should warm up a little. Maybe we'll get under here. Warm up. Get in there, Miss Cloud. Yeah, you want to warm up. Or maybe I want to go inside and warm up. Which is it? Those are my boots. These are my snow boots, not the chicken boots. Yeah. There's nothing on there. Dang it.